Give God some praise in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do better than that. Amen. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same Lord, your name is worthy of all of our praises. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth, they adore him. What a mighty. I said, what a mighty. Come on, somebody. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice. Do I have any rejoicers? Amen. We will rejoice. Can I get one more person to rejoice? Hallelujah. Amen. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, what and all he's done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, let your soul cry out today. Come on, let your soul cry out today. Come on, let your soul cry out today. Hallelujah! Woo, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We give you glory. We give you honor and praise, God. You are worthy. Amen. Somebody said, what's going on over there? Amen. We just know our Bible. The Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless. Y'all uh, still sleep. Amen. And bless his name. But if somebody said, well, why would I do that? For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endure to all generations. Amen. I just feel a little happy today, y'all. Y'all don't mind me. Somebody mad because it's snowing. Ain't nobody caring about that. Amen. Somebody mad because it's cold maybe in January in Michigan. What's your problem? Come on. Uh, come on. Shout hallelujah. Oh, uh, God. Come on, somebody. Shout hallelujah. I'd be more concerned if it was 90 in Michigan in January. Come on. Shout hallelujah. Woo. Amen. When I think about, amen, where he brought me from, how he brought me out. Woo. Y'all excuse me, amen. Y'all excuse me for a second. Y'all don't mind, I just want to praise it, amen. Come on, somebody knows there's power in your praise. Does anybody know that's the secret weapon? There's power in your praise. It confuses the enemy. Amen. I just had a, a flash. Amen. Praise God. God help me with it. Bless God. Amen. Sugar Ray Leonard. God don't mind if I talk for a second. Amen. I got the mic. It's okay. Amen. Listen. When I was a kid, Sister Angie, I used to watch Sugar Ray Leonard. And Sugar Ray Leonard had this thing. He used to wind up on one side. And then hit you with the other one. Kids don't know nothing about that. They know about Tyson and all that, but Sugar Ray Leonard, he had to, he would wind up on one side, and while he was watching the one side, boom, he'd hit you with the other one. He would confuse it. You better get in the practice of confusing the enemy. Listen, your mark up is the praise, but your shot is the boom. season that we ought to give God praise. Amen. Listen, we're preparing our hearts and minds for our, uh, our scripture. Amen. Followed by our prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Deacon Lauren is coming with our scripture, our prayer. Amen. From Deacon Donna. Let's receive them with a hearty amen as they come. Praise God. Good morning, Victory. Good morning. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I just read to you Philippians 4, 4 through 7. And the word has been blessed. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good morning, family. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace and mercy. We thank you. Thank you all in our hearts and on our lips, Lord. We thank you for traveling mercies this morning, Father. No matter what is going on outside and happening in our world, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. 
I say, Heavenly Father, continue to bless all of us as we go through the things that we go through, Father. I say, continue to uplift those of us who are bereaved, those of us who are grieving loss of loved ones, Lord, those of us who are dealing with mental issues, Lord, those of us who are dealing with financial issues, Lord, those of us who are just dealing with life in general, Father. I say, thank you for those things, Lord. I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Heavenly Father, I also ask that you would... uh, Unharden the hearts of those who are out here in this world, be it in our country or in any other country, that is trying to bring harm and destruction to your world, Father, who is trying to harm your children, Father, who is trying to dismantle the things that they should not be messing with, Lord. I say thank you, thank you, thank you for in advance for what you are doing in their lives, Lord. Heavenly Father, I say continue to bless the angel of this house. As he continues to pour into us as you pour into him. Lord, I say continue to bless his children as they are the light of his life, Lord, and the love of his heart. Continue to give them the desires of their hearts as long as it lines up with your will for them, Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray this prayer and many more. And as I end this prayer, Father, but never end being in your presence, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. 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 Come on, clap your hands one more time. Praise God. Amen. We're excited about the blessings of God here. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Amen. We're thankful. Amen. Because we're getting ready to worship God in song. Amen. We're blessed this morning for the spiritual gift. Amen. Of praise God, Sister Elasia Chambers. Come on, let's receive her now. Let's receive her now. Come on, praise God. Put your hands together. Let's receive her now. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. How many know he's a way maker? Yes, sir. He helps us through everything.
Uh, I'm really excited to read the Message Bible. Uh, and then we're going to preach between the Message and the New Living Translation. Amen. The same chapter, we studied it on uh, Wednesday night from the new uh, King James Version. But the message just sounded a little bit more like we on the west side of Detroit. Y'all don't mind. It, you'll get an understanding in a second. Amen. Mark 6. Amen. If you've got an electronic Bible, now if you're reading from uh, uh, the traditional King James, it's okay. Amen. All other versions read similarly. Amen. Come on, look at the text. Mark chapter 6, starting at verse 1. It says, he left there and returned to his hometown. His disciples came along. On the Sabbath, he gave a lecture in the meeting place, a.k.a. church. He made a real hit impressing everyone. This is the message. He had no idea. I'm sorry, it says, we had no idea he was this good, they said. How did he get so wise? Watch this. All of a sudden, where did he get such ability? But in the next breath, they were cutting him down. He's just a carpenter, Mary's boy. That's why I like this one. He said, we've known him since he was a kid. We know his brothers, James, Justice, Jude, and Simon. We know his sisters. Who does he think he is? They tripped over what little they knew about him, and fell sprawling. They and they never got any further. Jesus told them a prophet has little honor in his hometown among his relatives on the streets he played in as a child. Jesus wasn't able to do much of anything there. Come on. He laid hands on a few sick people and he healed them. That's all. He couldn't get over their stubbornness. He left and made a circuit of the other villages teaching. And we know the word of the Lord is already blessed. Come on, let's pray. God, we thank you. We give you glory, honor, and we give you praise. Lord, guide us through your word. Help us apply what we have read and what we pray about so that you might get the glory out of all of it. We thank you now in Jesus' name that every heart say amen. Before you sit down, just look your neighbor in the face tell them what we're preaching about. Say, neighbor, you don't know me. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Say, neighbor, you don't, you don't really know me. You think you know me, but but you really don't. Oh boy, listen, I'm, I'm excited about the text because it's just, listen, uh, this is a real text right here. Uh, it's, 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 it's rated today. Listen, I'm going to just tell y'all right now, it's going to be rated R today. I done scared some people already. Like, don't, don't think of the movies. Amen. It's going to be rated real today. Amen. Rated real. Come on. Some of y'all got to come on. Come on. We in church. Come on. Amen. Um, I, I like the message Bible. Matter of fact, I'm going to stay actually in the message. I wanted to toggle back and forth, but God says stay here. Um, the message. And so this is why having different versions help you with clarity. Amen. Different versions help you with clarity. Amen. Now, I think it's important. Uh, the, the, the New King James help you with history. Amen. Uh, the New King James, the King James, they help you with history, but often the language is difficult. 
So, you know, I know there are people where he reading from different, uh, uh, to, that was somebody else's interpretation. You know how people are, you know. They're always looking for a hole in the word. Amen. But the reality is the, the various uh, 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 versions were designed to help you with understanding. Amen. It's not somebody's thought up stuff. It's in the same uh, alignment. Amen. Uh, if it's an authorized Bible, the key is, uh, amen, the New King James has a couple of points that I think are important. So I'm going to bring up those points as we go through them. Is that all right? Amen. If it's not, you'll get over it after a while. Okay, so watch this. It says, he left where he was and he went to his hometown. Now, I like that. Amen. Now, uh, that's the message. The, the, the new King James says he went to Nazareth. Amen. Now, somebody said, well, how is that his hometown? I thought he was born in Bethlehem. So I just messed up some people who only watch uh, one part of the Bible story, but they didn't watch the rest of it. Amen. Because he was born in Bethlehem, but he was raised in Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Just because they had him. Listen, that like you was born. Uh, 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 hallelujah. Praise God. You you was born. Where, where, where is that? The hospital. Amen. Both my hospital over in Royal Oak, but you were raised in Southfield. Different city, but you know, down the street. Amen. For the bougie folk, they talk about, I don't even get it. Amen. So, so now you see, amen, of, of the text. It said he went to his hometown, uh, amen, which is Nazareth. That's where he did his growing, amen. That's where his, his family was, amen. And so you got to understand a few things. You learn a lot about Jesus in this very short text. You actually learn, most people don't get it, amen, about his home life through this very short text. Watch the text. It says his disciples came. Now, his disciples are his students, amen. So these are the people who met him when he was at his height. But everybody don't know you from when you were at your height. Some people know you when you was at your low. Say you really don't know me. It's all right. Amen. Praise God. All right. Amen. So, so, so the reality is, amen, he comes to town with the people who look up to him, and he's around the people who look down on him. Come on, watch this now. It says, it says, on, on the Sabbath, so these are people, they ain't seen him, because Jesus been out, amen, he started preaching when he was 30 years old, he left his hometown, Nazareth, and he went out on the circuit, he starts preaching and teaching and healing, amen, he been out there at least a year, year and a half, amen, close to several years now, he been doing God's work and God's will, you know, he started his earthly ministry at 30, by 33 he was crucified and in heaven. So we know chronologically now Jesus is somewhere post 30 years old, amen, but pre-33 years old. I'm just giving you numbers now. So now here's Jesus, and he comes back to his hometown. Amen. What up, Mike? Hey, 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 what's going on, Lord? Hey, Jesus in high school. You know, he, that's how he, he walking in. What up, Are you sitting on the table? He, you know, he, he walking in, you know. And yeah, I mean, I can't just came in on the last chariot, you know, whole nine yards. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, got my boys with me. You know how it is. Amen. You know, y'all ain't see, you know, don't say nothing to Peter. He'll cut you. You know, all of that stuff. John the young one, stay away from the trap house. You know all of that. Huh? Okay. So so here it is. And and, and so so uh uh he came to church and he starts to minister. And he good. And they like, where that boy get that from? You know, you have been found somebody and they listen, listen, they really didn't think you was gonna be good. Amen. You might not be preaching. You have to cook something and folk really didn't think you could cook. And then they ate it and they was like, shut the back door. <laughs> or you know, you was on the job and you got a promotion and the folk who clapped for you, amen, they said, Oh, I knew you was gonna get that. And then you come through with the promotion and you, you do your first presentation and they in the meeting room and they're like, oh. She actually knows what she's doing. 
You ever been around people like that? Let me say it better. People are oftentimes underestimating you. Woo. I'm getting, woo. Hey, I'm getting excited. Hey, man, can, I, can I tell you a secret in this season? There are people that's looking at you, amen, and they're underestimating you. They know how you used to be, amen. They remember when you used to wake the dead, and they remember when you would walk up and you had little green stuff around the nostril, y'all know that nasty. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you was, you was that kid, amen. You was a little clumsy, amen. Come on, me and my brother, you know, we was growing, and you know, you walk in and you trip in the can, you know, all of that stuff. They know you from then. They don't know when you just, amen, get up and stuff. They're like, oh. I didn't know they could do that. I didn't know she could make candles for real. Baby, how's your little business? How that little job you work in? That little under that little undertone sneak this? That little shade, you know. This little this it's a little shade. Amen. Because they're trying to actually put you down, but they 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 scared to really put you down. So they sneak a put down. How that little bit? Because they want to call it your hobby, but they just don't know that that's what God's gonna take you to the next level with. And they they really don't know. They really don't know that your hobby is becoming your hustle, and your hustle is going to create your promotion, amen, so you can close the gate on what you've been connected to, amen, so God's going to move on your behalf, so they're a little bit afraid to call it, amen, the blessing, amen, because they know they have not put their hand to the plow.
You, you see, sometimes you got to, you just got to learn that everybody you think you know, you really don't know them because you have not followed them around. You, you have not been with them. You don't know the issues. You don't know the snares and the, and the funny looks and how many people talked about them and lied on them and amen tried to use them and abuse them. Uh, amen. But God, amen. Uh, uh, God stepped in, amen. Uh, listen, because God, amen, can do exceedingly abundantly. Or you can ask or think according to the power that's working on you. Listen, I might look the same baby, but I'm different. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm built different. Yeah, I'm built different. I, you know, I, I may look, I still might look like Mary's boy, amen, but I look, I'm, I'm different on the inside, amen, because I got the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to say it like Y'all, it's okay. I'm going to say it like French Montana. Hey, hey, I ain't worried about nothing. Y'all, I'm sorry. Y'all don't know that. I ain't worried about nothing. Hey, man, I, listen, I really ain't worried about nothing because I got God on my side. And that's more than enough. I ain't worried about nothing. I, I ain't worried about nothing. Listen, I know it's got bills. I ain't worried about nothing. I know people don't even like me. I ain't worried about nothing. I, listen, I, I know it's snowing. I ain't worried about Still got the Lord with me. So, so, so here's Jesus, and he listen. He dropping it, man. He 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 giving it to him. They, they, uh, watch the text now, and, and and they say they say uh they say where you get that from? Ooh, first, first they start out. They say ooh, they say ooh, boy, you sound good. Then the next, <laughs> watch the next verse, verse three. But they say the next breath. Huh? I believe they said it under their breath. You know how folk are. You know. Ooh, girl, you sound good. She thinks she ought to know. I know you trouble. Watch folk that will compliment you one minute and talk about you the next. That's why you got to be careful with people who actually talk about other people anyway. Because if you're comfortable with talking about other people around me, then when you get away from me, you're going to be comfortable talking about me. So I don't want to hear nothing about nothing. Right? Unless you're talking about the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Because see, my mama told me, if you ain't got nothing good to say, you are not saying at all. Do I have any witnesses? Hey, man, watch, watch the text. So, so, so it says here, in the next breath, they cut him down. Watch folk that a smile. Listen, this was the first OJ's, amen, uh, rendition. They smiled in his face. All the time they want to take to place. Listen, y'all just need to say it. Hey, Samus. Uh, ain't that the baby got it too? Uh, that, that's all from segment six. That baby like three years old. Talk about some. Uh, and she broke it down. No down. Help me preach, baby. Come on. I like that. So, so, so watch the text now. It says, uh, in the next breath, don't be shocked in this season that the same people that's smiling at you talking about you. I got something to say. I'm just pausing so we can soak this in. I need you to recognize everybody that's so-called happy for you. It's not always happy. Do a test. Social media is easy. I, I, there's a reason why I like Instagram over Facebook because Instagram, amen, it shows you views versus likes. You have like 7,000 views and three likes. Because everybody that's looking don't like it. 
Everybody, see, some people will watch what you're doing. And when they see you, she ain't nothing. Because see, a part of it is that the anointing that's on you, they're perplexed with. Just like Jesus. I know this person, or at least I thought I knew this person. And the issue is, what they're doing now doesn't fit the mold I have set for them. And that makes me nervous. Because when I knew them, I put them in a place under me. But they're performing at a place over me. So now I have a problem with that. Because I didn't know that God had touched them in a way, amen, that's elevating them to the level that they're on. And that's making me nervous. Because I really don't understand why he ain't touching me like that. And so one of the things about overflow in this season is you got to learn how to celebrate somebody else's success. Be careful of people who won't celebrate your success. When it's somebody else's day, go ahead and tell them, I'm in Ross St. Brown, have a day. Huh? Donna Pinkston, have a day. You set, learn how to celebrate other people. When they're having a good day, if they bring, listen, whatever it is, this day birthday, amen, listen, they got a, a, a something on their child, whatever it is, they put something out there, learn how to celebrate somebody else. You can't always be the limelight. You can't always be the one, and you step, listen, the biggest red flag, if you get mad, when they having their day, Relationship, folks, be careful. If you're in a relationship and your elevation causes tension in the relationship, your blessing causes them to scoff, causes them to sneer. Your birthday come up, they don't even call you. That ain't even a red cut, that ain't even a red flag. That's a hatchet. A hatchet or some scissors. Huh? You ain't gonna sell it. Listen, on the day, I listen, on the day of your birth, you can't celebrate somebody. You mad because it's their birthday? You mad because they got a promotion? You know, I'm gonna mess with us brothers. I'm gonna listen, it's, it ain't enough, it ain't a whole lot of us in here. Amen. Uh, uh, three of us plus Alex, praise God. Uh, amen. And I'm going to say it this way. Uh, I can't understand brothers who mad because a woman made more money than them. I don't have a problem. You make a million? I'm not mad. Would you like some coffee? Huh? I mean, I don't get the issue here. Because I know who I am. I know I've been called by God. And I don't have an issue if you make more than me. Matter of fact, baby, I'm glad. You need to me to be the stay-home man? Praise God. No issue. If you retire me, I'll even make the bed and the biscuit. If you bring home that bacon, I will fry it up. Or learn how to watch a YouTube video and learn how. I got a problem because I'm still a man. And I put an apron on and make some bacon. We have issues that we got to get ironed out. Amen. All these things that we set up, amen, especially in relationships, oh, you know, I don't know, I couldn't be with a woman who made more money than me. You crazy. 
And we ain't gonna argue about it. Girl, go ahead. Buy some pom poms and cheer for you. Listen, they tried to hold Jesus to who he used to be. Watch the text. Amen. It, it says uh, in verse 3, he's, this is why I like the text. He's just a carpenter. They were, they were classifying, watch this, he, they were classifying his anointing based on what he used to do. Carpenter. They set limits on him based on his past profession. That's why you don't know me. Because I'm not my profession. That's just what I do. That's not who I am. You want to get excited because some of us have fallen in love with what we do, but that's not who you are. That's just the stuff you do. You got an anointing on you. You got something on the inside of you that God is working out that I ain't got no connection to your job or your position or your title. You are been anointed to do great things. That's the carpenter's son. He ain't nothing but a carpenter. He only know how to do what's this. Because what you don't realize is not written here. Amen. So you have to understand it. Amen. Joseph was a carpenter. So not only are they limiting Jesus, but they're limiting Jesus to the profession of what his daddy did. So now let's get a little deeper here, amen, because now maybe your daddy wasn't in a profession called carpenter. Maybe he was a weed smoker. Maybe he was out in the streets. Maybe he didn't never. So then people start judging you based on what your daddy did. But what they don't realize is that that's my, my earthly father. But praise God. Amen. You can't judge me on my earthly father. Judge me on Abba Father. Amen. And that word Abba Father means daddy in heaven. Uh, amen. You got to judge me on my godliness, not on my earthly father. Watch folks that try to put you in a box and confine you to your background or the street you came from. Nothing good will come from the west side of Detroit. I beg to differ. Can't nothing be produced from Cody High School or McKenzie. I beg to differ. Because if God be for us, y'all ain't shot good enough yet. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm a judge. Y'all ain't shot good enough right now. If God be for us, He's more than the world against us. And they say this Mary's boy. This Mary's boy. He up there. He done read a couple books. He don't know nothing. He a carpenter. That's what his daddy did. Mary's boy. You know how Mary was. Then they, listen, then they mess around and start bringing up the brothers. Now, you know, I don't know if I might, I might be ready to scrap that. But, you, know, they, you know, they talking a lot of mess right now. Listen, watch it. He said, uh, this is carpenter. Mary's boy. We know him since he was a kid. And you know, you was doing all kinds of dumb stuff when you was a kid. You was tripping over stuff. And you know why you was doing dumb stuff? You was a kid. Amen. Everybody do dumb stuff when they're a kid because they're a kid. That's when you do dumb stuff. That's when you say dumb stuff. So watch the folks that are still trying to judge you based on your old self. And don't beat yourself up because who you used to be. Because here's what people don't want to actually come to grips with. We all have 
of pass. And the reality is, some of our past is not wonderful and beautiful, but some folk have just gotten better at hiding their past. Wow. Ain't nobody brought up they creeping lately. People can't see the stuff they did. You talking about somebody, oh, ooh, she must be promiscuous. She got five kids. But they ain't put your medical record out there. You didn't have seven abortions. Three plan B's. But you talking about her because she got five kids. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I, I just... It's raining real today. I'm talking y'all. Some of y'all, you know, the, where's the hallelujahs at? Wrong channel. We know his brothers, James, Justice, Jude, and Simon. And we know his sisters. They was at the party last night. There, there you learn Jesus had siblings. It's in there other places in the Bible, but very specifically, amen, it shows that Jesus was not an only child. That messed up the Catholics, right? Because they want to make Mary into, huh? Oh, the Virgin Mary. She wasn't Virgin after that, though. Her and Joseph were doing something. Jesus can't make that wine, boy. Come on. Amen. Excuse me. Uh, I like this next part. It says, who does he think he is? Woo! Can I tell you a secret? There's some people saying that about you. Yeah. 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 Who does she think she is? You got the nerve? you or talk another way about you. They, they talk, they, they're talking, they look at it, they tripping. I'm telling you, this is funny to me. Uh, uh, who does he think he is? They tripped over what little they knew about him. See, that's why I told y'all uh, when we started, you don't know, you don't know what, listen, you might be around people at work, at church, amen, but you don't really know people. You don't know their situation. You, you don't know their whole life. You don't know, amen, all the stuff they're going through. You don't know. Listen, uh, Regina King, praise God, we're praying for her. Regina King's son, 24 years old, had a birthday last week. I saw it on, on, on the uh, uh, Rock and Eve, New Year's Rock and Eve. I saw it. Regina King with her only son. He killed himself. I don't know what that boy was going through. You don't know what people have going on in their life. And the problem is we think because they smile and they straight. Some people just smile because they know if they frowned all the time, they'd be tired of telling folk all the hell they're going through. So some people, you just see them in. That don't mean everything's okay. That don't mean just that they that everything's cool. Cause sometimes little do you know, that's the only time they but by the time they get in the car, they get cussed out. Smiles do not equate to happiness. Cause you don't know 
know what people are going through at their house. You don't know what people are going through on their job. You don't know what people are going through with their children. You just don't know. That's why we can't judge people on the outside. We got to learn how to really focus on what's going on on the inside. Watch the text. I'm almost done right here. It says, it says they tripped over what little they knew about him and they fell sprawling and they never got further. Then Jesus said, uh, the, the famous word, a prophet has little honor in his own town, among his own relatives, on the streets that he played in as a child. Real important there because again, people will judge you on your past. They will ridicule you on your present and they'll never believe in you for your future. So you got to learn to learn from your past. You got to learn to focus on your presence and work hard and then start to set goals and achieve them into the future. Don't have any witnesses that know what I'm talking about. Because here's what I'm here to tell you. Your past, you got to let it pass. I'm so glad that I'm not who I used to be. We got to learn to let stuff go. Tell your neighbor, say, let it go. You might know my name, but you might not know nothing about what's going on in my life. That's why we got to learn to pray for the saints. God be with them. Amen. Stand by. Watch over them. I, I thank God when Deacon Donna pray. She said, I pray for my, my bishop. I, listen, everybody know, listen, and what you got to understand is, amen, to whom much is given, much is required. Huh? The more you can affect the body of Christ, the more the enemy is trying to tear you down. Everybody don't know what you're going through. That's why we got to learn to praise God anyway. Does anybody understand? Watch, watch this. I'm, I'm done right here. It says um, he couldn't do much work. Okay, I, I'm going to tell you a secret and I'm closing right here. Don't be shocked that the people who you expect to support you the most support you the least. Some of the very people you thought was going to be happy will give you the funny look. They're going to act like you think you better than And it ain't even about you thinking nothing. Listen, you're just excited about trying to do more. And they're giving you the... That's why you can't worry about other people. Focus on God. When you're overflow here, and I'm declaring overflow, but I'm preparing people in the midst of your preparation for overflow. Don't get mad when your overflow happens and folks still giving you the funny look. Because you thought when your overflow happened that the very people who was crying with you in the corner was going to clap for you, and now they're giving you the funny look. Everybody was at the bridesmaid table and they was all talking about, I wish I had me a man. And then all of a sudden, you caught the, the bouquet. You next in line. Oh, she thinks she all that. Oh, Jesus, it got quiet. Some people know what I'm talking about. When your elevation happens, the very people you thought that would be most excited about your elevation oftentimes are the least excited about your elevation. But I'm going to say this. It does not negate your elevation. It does not negate your anointing. Because God will bring new people around you. I'm going to say this, I'm done. The best part of this text is the fact that Jesus brought his encouragers with him. Yeah. You would have thought when he got to his hometown and he preached 
a good word that the people that knew him from a child would have been clapping and saying good things. But the very people who he knew from childhood were putting them down. So he had to go run with the people who were supporters of him. Peter, James, John. Come on, fellas. It says after he got done, it says he went and preached in another town. He took the disciples. Sometimes you got to learn to bring your team with you. You thought the people who knew you a long time ago was going to be happy for you. It might be a whole new team. Whole new dynamic, whole new situation. God may set things up for you in a peculiar way. And God be praised. It's not always coming to you the way you thought it was going to come to you. God may have to change some things. Create new dynamics. Give you new friendships. Create new businesses for you. you. Listen, you still crying over the business that didn't work. God say, I gave you a new thought. Come on, stand to your feet now. Amen. Listen, if you're in this place, and you never accepted the Lord in your life before, it's your time. This is your time to come. Come and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Maybe you're here, you're already saved. But this is your time to be restored to the body of Christ. Come for restoration. If you've never accepted him or you plan to accept him, you want to accept him, amen, you could come. Or maybe you're here, amen, and you desire membership, amen. So come for salvation, come for restoration, or come for membership. It's never too late, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, amen. We have worshiped God in our singing. We have worshiped God, amen, through his word. Now it's time to worship God in our giving. It's offering time, y'all. Amen. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, be excited about the opportunity to sow seed. Amen. I know. Amen. With the snow on the ground, it's hard for us often to even think about harvest time. But I believe God is still working. Amen. He's working on your seed. He's he's maturing your seed even when it goes into the ground. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a transition happening right in the ground. And I believe this is good ground. Amen. This is fertile soil. So God is going to move in a powerful way. Amen. You can give uh, through our cash app at dollar sign, W-I-N-T-H-R-U-T-H-E-W-R-D. Win through the word. Amen. You can also go to our website, www.victorychurchdetroit.org slash giving. Amen. You can go there or just give traditionally. Amen. By coming to our church. Praise God, or even uh, through our mail, amen, at 14025 Hubble, Detroit, Michigan, 48227. I praise God, amen, for folks far and wide that are watching us, amen, all over the country, really all over the world, amen. We have victory all over the world, amen, hallelujah. Do y'all clap for that, amen? I get excited when I hear about them people over in Germany watching us, them people out in California, amen, uh, North Carolina, amen. We get all kind of information. There's soldiers that we're praying for uh, that are with us as well. So we thank God uh, for all those things that are happening and God blessing us in such a mighty, mighty way. Come on, you lift your blessing to the Lord, amen. Repeat this word after me. Say, not as a dead I owe. But as a seed, I sow. Say, I plant my seed. I receive my harvest. Come on, say, I receive my harvest. I receive my harvest. In Jesus' name, amen. Starting from the rear, come around, give that blessing, and return to your seat. Amen. Praise God. Amen. While they're coming, I want to just give a few announcements, amen, while you're coming. I know you're listening, and I want the people on social media to be with us as well. Next week, amen, we will have 100% virtual 
100% virtual service next week will be 100% virtual. Just the fifth Sunday, amen, starting back in February, the first Sunday, amen, we'll be back both virtual and in person. So just one week of virtual, praise God, and we're thanking God for that. But be with us, amen, virtually uh, at 11 o'clock, amen, right on Facebook as we praise the name of the Lord our God, amen. Amen. Praise God. Come on, just lift your hands together. Amen. God, we thank you. We glorify you and magnify you, God. We thank you for the seed that was sown. Now we ask, God, that you would take some 30, some 60, some even 100 fold and use it for the furtherance of your kingdom. We thank you now and give your name the praise. In Jesus' name, let every heart say, Amen. Come on, clap your hands in this place. Bless God. Again, we're thanking God for all of our January birthdays. Clap your hand for all the January babies in the house. Amen. I know I got one coming uh, this week. Amen. So I praise God for that. Uh, amen. And just in general, amen. Everybody celebrating coming up in January uh, and even get ready for February. We thank God uh, for all of God's people. Traveling mercies as well for everybody that's traveling. And let's pray for everyone that's going through still this sickness. Uh, amen. I encourage the uh, uh, vaccine. Amen. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just going to give you my personal opinion. Uh, amen. I think it's good for the community at large. Uh, amen. But make your own decision. I don't like twisted for long uh, at all. Amen. But praise God. If you believe it's helpful, go ahead uh, to your local uh, uh, CVS, Walmart. They all have opportunities there uh, that you can get the vaccine. Amen. Or uh, praise God, the booster shot. Amen. If it be your will. Amen. 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 Come on, let's stand to our feet. Praise God. Leave no one untouched. Amen. No, I ain't going to have you touch nobody. Just lift your hands. Amen. I'm so used to saying that. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's pray. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the Lord with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Let the church of God say amen, 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 and amen. Come on, give three people a fist bump. Tell them how much you love them. Amen.